Hey guys, welcome back to Innovation. My name is Mitch. Today we're gonna be something a little bit different. We're gonna be checking out some AR cycling glasses. That's gonna be the Lock Ones from Lock. Let's get into the review. Now, the Lock One is toted as a cycling AR sunglass platform, but there really is quite a lot of stuff here. You can take pictures, you can record 4K video, it has ChatGPT built into it, which is pretty dope. You can also track things like your calories burned, things like that, mileage, all that jazz. You can get directions and have directions displayed on the screen as well. So really there's a quite a few uses for this thing. Now we're gonna be talking about it in the vein of cycling because that's what we do around here. It's electric bikes for the most part. So let's jump into it. Hey guys, Editor Mitch here. Just wanted to say, watch the review video and there's a couple points I didn't really make too clear in the review video. And one of the main points I wanted to make is that this is a prototype that we got from the company. So some of the functionality like the voice assist don't really function the way they're supposed to or they don't really function the way that they're gonna function in the final unit. So um, a lot of stuff that we have to do, if we wanna answer calls and stuff, we have to touch the trackpad that's on the side of one of the arms right here, and that's something that should be going away, and a couple of other updates as well. So I would just pay attention to the Kickstarter and look at that for what the final functionality is gonna be. The prototype that we get is not the exact representation of that. So keep that in mind as we go throughout the review that the unit that we have is gonna be subpar compared to the final unit that most of you get if you guys are gonna support the Kickstarter campaign. All right, let's get on with the review. First, let's talk about design and comfort. Now when it comes to design, the first thing you notice is they are pretty slick. And the second thing that you might not notice um, online is they're super light. These things weigh 80 grams. So once they're on your head, you almost can't even tell they're there. I mean, I can see stuff, right? I'm seeing stuff right there and I'm looking through you, but I'm seeing green displays and stuff like that. And we'll get into you know what this shows and some of the functionalities. But as far as the design goes, looks pretty cool. They are a little bit on the bulky side, you know, a little bit thicker, but this has got to house some things like our speakers and, you know, some batteries and all sorts of stuff. So there is a little bit of a thickness to it, but for the most part, it is pretty light. And like I said, once you kind of get this seat on your head, I mean, you'd forget about it like you would forget about it, uh, any other sort of pair of sunglasses. Next, let's talk about some of the features of this all-in-one AR solution. Now, one of the coolest things for cycling, in my opinion, is the fact that we can put in directions, not have to be looking at our phone or make sure our phone's attached somewhere else. We can get those directions right here on our glasses with turn signals, letting us know how far to the next turn. And we still have our full visibility about us. We're not glancing down. We're still gonna have our eyes on the road the whole time. So from that perspective, it's a pretty big safety feature, in my opinion. Now, if you're somebody who uses your bike for exercise and you wanna keep track of mileage, you wanna keep track of calories burned, heart rate, things like that, there are a lot of compatible devices to keep track of at least the heart rate, but for mileage and calories burned, it can estimate those for you and you can have a nice little readout. You can export that into you know, your workout program, things like that. So that way you can keep track of you know, what you're doing, how far you're going and how many calories you're burning. The next thing I wanna talk about is the built-in Bluetooth speakers that we have here in the side arms here. Now, what is really cool about that from a safety perspective is whether you're listening to music or taking a phone call, which you can, you can take a phone call on these things, it's going to leave your ears open to hear all of the stuff that's happening outside in the world. Now, the idea here, or the safety factor at least, is very similar to some of the popular open bone conducting headphones that you see a lot of like runners and cyclists and people like that wear. So it means that you can you know, listen to music, take a phone call, and you still can hear the stuff that's happening on the outside of you, which is a huge safety bonus. Next thing we're gonna do is see how these glasses are gonna help you get from point A to point B while using the navigation. All right, so we're outside, we're testing out the navigation. We've got it going just around the neighborhood here real quick, and we'll see if we can uh, follow the navigation. So it's giving me the navigation here in my head. Let's see, we're gonna take a left of Park Creek Drive. And I've also got my screen recorder going, so we'll be able to show that uh, down here somewhere. So, I'm just following the directions. Turn right onto Rolling Oaks Drive, then turn left onto River Park Drive. Let's see. Okay, it's telling me to turn right. Turn left onto River Park Drive. Okay, turn 
left. In a quarter mile, make a slight right to stay yeah, on the river park drive. Dead end. It's not so far. It's looking pretty good. Microphone here a bit. Is she flopping? There we go. Let's keep on trucking. A little bit of pedaling. Now, what I can see on the screen is we've got our calories, the time we've been on our ride. Make a slight right to stay so on the river park drive. Per hour then turn right onto Luetta Road. Kilometers that we're going. Not a hundred percent sure if we can turn right, right onto Luetta Road. Then turn left the onto Gettysburg Drive. Be a little bit. Uh, Easier not to do any math in our head. So we take a right on this road, which is a main road. So we're gonna wait till uh, all the traffic clears in that left turn lane, and uh, we'll be there. Yeah, waiting for traffic. Super fun. Super exciting. This is good TV, folks. All right, we're gonna go into that turn lane over here. And guess what? Turn the lights are red. Onto so we're stop. Drive. <laughs> and it's telling us to take a left onto Gettysburg, which is uh, right over there. So, yeah, navigation works. Now, I was under the impression there was going to be like arrows on the screen. I don't know if that's a setting that maybe we need to adjust or something, but so far I'm just getting the, the audio of where I need to go. Now, one thing that's cool for me on the zoos, I've actually got this rock form mount. Oh, it's time for us to go. We got this rock form mount on there, and so the my screen is you know, pretty accessible. But the idea is this is going to be something that is, you know, super safe because you know, I just have to look where I'm going and we need to see some of the cool right things. The that we stop, slows down our speed, boom, not move. So that is pretty cool. So it looks like that functionality works pretty well. For our first outdoor segment, we are going to head outside and see how these things track our speed distance and calories burned. Let's go. All right, so one of the things that we can see on the screen here, and I'll have that blown up for you, it asks you if you want to synchronize this to Apple Health Connect, which would be sweet because then you could track all this sort of stuff in a program you're familiar with if you're using Apple Health, right? I'm gonna say no for now, but I just wanna show you some of the stuff that we have here. So it's gonna show us our distance, calories, the time the trip took, elevation, average speed, max speed. It's got this little speed chart down here at the bottom to let us know kind of our speeds you can tell where we're stopping either at the stop sign or the stop light, and it's gonna show us our elevation there. So all in all, pretty cool. And then if you want to, we can go ahead and export this. We can share this with somebody. We can do all sorts of stuff here in the app. So lots of cool features once you complete your ride. Next, let's head outside and listen to some music on the open road. All right, so next we're gonna do is we're gonna test out the headphones. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up YouTube Music here. And we'll listen to some Gaslight Anthem. But uh, for you guys, all you guys are going to hear is some, uh, some YouTube music or something, because uh, I'm not trying to get demonetized. And let's go ahead and do a little riding, and let's see how this sound works and how much we're able to hear stuff around us, which is you know, one of the safety features here. So as far as audio quality goes, it's really not bad. Uh, a little bit more bass than I'd expected, honestly. You know, I've used a lot of those uh, Aeropex and some of those bone condensing headphones, and at least for me, you know, the way I've gotten them to fit, uh, it's a little less bassy than maybe I like listening to. But this isn't bad, you know? Especially if I'm just, you know, cruising around and just listening to some jams while I'm, uh, you know, feeling the wind in my face and things like that. So, uh, really not too bad. You know, still hear everything pretty well. I mean, I can hear the, uh, the freewheel in the back. Uh, pretty much hear everything I need to hear. I hear my brakes squealing a little bit. That's super fun. All right, here's a car. I was like, oh, I need to find a car. So let's go by this car real quick and let's see what the car sounds like. Oh yeah, 
I hear the car like I'm not listening to music. It kind of, not that it is, you know, mixing it or anything, it just feels like the music's in the background. It's also a little bit harder to, uh, to talk when you're listening to music sometimes, so. If you're like, hey, sounds a little distracted. Let's listen to some jams, guys. That's what I'm doing. All right, another car coming up. You hear them coming to a stop. You're gonna let me go. Probably because I'm being so safe with these uh, open air headphones here. So honestly, that might be uh, might be one of my favorite parts. I'm a big music guy, and so I enjoy the fact that I get to listen to some decent music while still being safe about it. You know, I'm not throwing in the the AirPods noise canceling mode. I can still talk with people. Which is kind of cool. It's kind of like having a soundtrack for your life or for your adventure. You know. Are you in the middle of a bike ride, but you need to take that important phone call? Well, let's check out the phone call quality and see if that's gonna be a viable option for you. All right, so for the next section, what we wanna do is we wanna demonstrate a phone call, right? Because it's gonna be a hands-free phone call kind of thing. So let's see, let's see how that works. I scripted my wife to, uh, to give me a ring, so let's see, let's see how that experience is. Answer the phone. Answer. Answer. Tap. Hello? Hello. Okay, I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm recording that video for those glasses, and yeah, can you hear me? You cannot hear what I'm saying? You can't hear me? Okay, so... When I stop, you can hear me pretty good, but as I'm going, I'm going about 15 miles an hour now. Can you hear what I'm saying? Okay, so yeah, so about 15 miles. Okay. Okay. Yeah, can you hear me? Very patchy, what about now? How does this sound? Okay, good, okay, so yeah, I was going about 15 miles per hour just uh, cruising the bike and uh, she couldn't hear me very well. Uh, so, so yeah, so as far as, very in and out, she's saying. So, all right, Esther, thank you so much for the, uh, for the phone call. Uh, I'll get back to uh, the video. Bye. All right, so, I was able to answer it. You just tap on the side here, which is pretty nice. Pretty not exactly hands-free, but you know that's that's pretty quick. And when you're just sitting there, easy to talk to. But as soon as we started driving, I was picking up a lot of the wind noise, kind of coming in and out. It was very difficult for her to hear me. So just something to uh, to note that if you uh, you know if you have a important business call, you probably can't take it on your bike with these headphones. Uh, and that's just something you know maybe they'll look at doing some some noise canceling wind canceling things like that to make these better for cyclists specifically now if you're on a bike you're just walking around uh sounds pretty good she said quality sounded uh like i was on my uh, apple airpods things like that but uh yes yeah, so when you start driving uh the, the quality drops quite a bit so just something to uh, keep in mind. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for our review on the Lock One AR glasses from Lock. If you guys want to check them out, I'll have a link to them down below. And if you guys have any questions for me, please let me know down in the comments. Love talking to you guys. We'll catch you on the next one.